is Anthony Joshua finally taking his career into his own hands and really driving to be undisputed against Eddie Hearn's uh, will. We back as the Boston Clinic and more. I'm going to link an article, uh, link in the description. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. We grinding. And um, apparently Anthony Joshua is prepared to send Deontay Wilder a good offer. His own words. I'll link an article in the description, like I said, so you know it's true. And in that offer, it's also being reported outside this article that it has a rematch clause for Wilder uh, himself. So both fighters probably going to have a rematch clause, and they're probably going to do it twice if they want it. I've been on record saying whoever gets knocked out in this fight is not going to take that fight again immediately. Um, but there's going to be a lot of good money there, so you never know. Um, but I, I, I think Anthony Joshua is now forcing Eddie Harrahan to make this fight happen. Like a lot of people reporting, like for, like for nine international boxing talk, shout out to my homie, saying that he don't believe that that, that Anthony Joshua was getting paid what they said he getting paid because he said that um, uh, Anthony said that um, he you know he he wanted to get paid more, you know he let the cat out of the bag. He was expecting to get paid more. So um, obviously you know if you want to get paid more, you're not happy with what you're getting paid. So I mean, but this may be him really. You know, trying to get that real paper and trying to make a stamp on boxing and really um, get some legitimacy behind him in America because he already legit in the most UK man, fans' mind and really want to push for this fight now. You know, maybe he meant what he said and he mean what he say when he said he wanted Wilder next. And I think Eddie was trying to tell him like I, Eddie was trying to tell Kell Brook not to go do that dumb shit and go all the way up and move all the way down and face uh, Errol Spence, which I think would have been. Why well, for Eddie not even to offer Triple G to Earl to uh, Kell Brook and let him go fight Jesse Vargas and unify with the WBO and IBF? But Kell Brook was crying and screaming about money, and it sounds like Anthony Joshua was crying and screaming about money, you know. And now, you know, like Kell Brook, you know, even if it's a different circumstance, Anthony Joshua believes his own hype. You're supposed to believe your own hype. You're supposed to believe that you trill real in every adjective in the book. That you're ready for for Deontay Wilder, but obviously Eddie don't feel that way, you know. But it looked like Anthony Joshua was taking control of his career, you know. He tired of, of Americans, you know, uh, poking fun at him, saying that he a poo nanny, he's scared of Wilder. He want to prove that this ain't no game. That Anthony Joshua's more than a brand. He's more than a commercial boxer. He's a real boxer. He's real hardcore, and he come to, he he cutthroat. He want to prove that he really cutthroat. Man, the only way to do it is, is get the last belt and take the, his toughest opponent that's available, you know, in his era, Deontay Wilder. And then once he beats Deontay Wilder, if he does, ain't nobody say shit about Anthony Joshua, you know, and ain't no more questions left. He's defeated his ultimate rival, and he can go do what the fuck he want to do after that. Will he do it is another another question, you know. But I like how he's taking control of this shit now. And hopefully the contract offer... Is a good one. He said we was waiting on Wilder to offer us a contract. Why would you wait on the B side to offer an A side a contract? Unless you you unless you wanted to go down in Vegas, but Joe but Joe promoter knows how to, you know, crunch the numbers in Vegas. It, this fight should go down in the UK, I believe, you know. But Vegas would be nice, you know, so we can mob down there and see uh Wilder uh fight Joshua, but he's gonna be in the UK. Joshua needs the comforts of home. Um, but I think it'll be more I think it'll be more effective for, for Joshua's career to fight in Vegas and get those American fans behind him. You know, he get America, that little money he make in the UK is going to quintuple. It's going to it's gonna triple for sure. It made four times, you know. If he blew up in America and he knocks out Wilder in spectacular fashion, his paper going to go all the way up. You know, people don't understand why it's so important to fight in America. For This is the A market. You know, this ain't no, no secondary, third, fourth market. This is the A market. If you ain't popular in America for real in boxing, you ain't make, you probably really ain't making no, the money that you can make. And once Joshua figures, the, if he ever finds out the money that he can make in America and get done with $20 pay-per-views and get some $60, $70, $80 pay-per-views if he can promote himself that way, shit, he going to reach his goals. But I but I like that now that he's strapping his nuts on, he's getting ready for Wilder. He said he don't want Pavekin, he don't want nobody else, he want Wilder, and I like that. Hopefully the contract is good, but we'll never know if the contract was good or not. It could be the perfect contract for Deontay Wilder, and Wilder probably, and probably can decline it. We don't really know if Wilder really wants to fight. He's talking. You know, we really don't know if Joshua really was shying away from the fight, or was it Eddie Hearn? Most feel it was Eddie Hearn that was putting him back. You know, but if he accepts the contract and they can get it done, let's go. But the one thing I, I don't like about it, how Joshua said, oh, stop your whining. It ain't whining. 
It ain't whining when you want to fight the best. That's not whining. Stop trying to put that put that put that homie down. You the one that let your promoter mind fuck you into not fighting him, and now your money looking a little funny. It ain't what you thought it was. It ain't what the reporters was. Now you want the real deal. Now you want to prove to all the fans that you the real deal. And so did Kell Brook. And Kell Brook got sparked out too. He didn't take Eddie Hearn's advice and just go fight a mandatory, or, or I mean, just go move up or do something else. You know, he was a real man about it and would head on to it. Now, I enjoy it. And I'm glad that Anthony Joshua is handling this like a man. Hopefully, it's a solid offer that he sent to, to Deontay Wilder. I'm glad that he's handling this and handling this business, partner. And we can get the fight that we've been waiting to see. No more crying, no more moaning, no more excuses. It's on like pop, hot popcorn, you know. Hopefully, Wilder accepts his contract. They can get it done. No more excuses. Anything can happen in this fight. Both are humongous punchers. Both are are what they are. Very, very flawed, but very, very big punchers. And we'll see. The bait is over with. The fight that we wanted to see. It wasn't on Eddie Hearn's terms. He didn't want to wait it out no more to 21, 2020, 2019, or the year after that, the year after that, like Anthony Joshua said. It's happening now, and it should happen now. But if Joshua loses, Matchroom USA bankrupt, especially if he loses the rematch as well. But let me know what y'all think. Article link in the description. Y'all know what it is. It's TBC and more. We gone.